I can I can already feel like the butterflies starting. Like I feel like once I see him, it's just gonna like flow. Like I'm just gonna feel so happy. Like I can feel like warming up my whole body and everything. And just to see him there and seeing him smiling and looking at me, that's just gonna make me feel calm. Like this is where we're meant to be and not nervous anymore. Well, we started off being friends first and I really, I honestly didn't think he was really my type at first, <laughs> but we ended up becoming really good friends and as soon as I knew him as a best friend, I knew that he had to be with me for the rest of my life. I knew I needed him. We would just talk on the phone for hours and hours and just never really run out of things to say. It's just kind of, from there, like we've grown together since we were 16 years old and there's never been a point where I ever doubted that I'd end up with her in the end. It was just a matter of when it would happen, really. At West Edmonton Mall, there's these photo booths that are kind of sitting by this frozen yogurt place. And we took pictures there on our first day. Every year since, we've gone back to take pictures in the same photo booths. And last year, gonna take me out for dinner. Didn't really think anything of it. I actually didn't even do my hair. I had wet hair leaving the house. And on the way to dinner, Curtis was like, I need to stop at the mall to buy a golf club. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but we could definitely do it. And then we walked by the photo booth and he was like, I guess it's that time of year. We should take our pictures again. I jumped in the photo booth and then I popped the question right after we put the coins in and kind of captured the, you know, the moment. And I was completely shocked. I did not expect it at all that day. And it was amazing. So we got all the pictures and we actually have the pictures from every year that we've been dating. We have them all. So this is just the final one to add. <laughs> I'm hoping towards the end we've got uh, 60 sets of photos or whatever, right? Well. So Curtis is an old soul. He is like an old man in a young man's body. Like you can tell he's lived a past life. He's kind of been through this before. Like he kind of knows what he's doing. And he's not really into like the things of today. He likes the things of the past. He likes old music and old cars and old houses and things that you can fix up. Children and dogs love him. <laughs> They're just drawn to him. So when you know that a dog trusts somebody, you trust that dog, you just know. On our first day, we went to go see the movie Up. Um, at the start of the movie, uh, there's two little kids that kind of start uh, dating. They go through life together. Uh, when they first meet each other, the girl gives the guy a pin. And they're just little grape soda caps on their, on their shirts. And they wear them their whole life until they're old. And that represents us. And uh, Laura got me this when she went to Disneyland. I was this, uh, almost three years ago now. so. It's been a while. I'm gonna wait forever. Yeah. Laura, we have been together for a long time, and most importantly, in the most formative years of our lives. From the first moments I met you, I knew you to be one of the happiest, kindest people I had ever met. You have a way of just connecting with people so quickly and easily. You simply take my breath away as much today as you did back then. You're intelligent, genuine, beautiful, quick-witted, and kind. Through all the changes, through all the twists and turns, there's always been one constant, the fact that I'm hopelessly in love with you. Eight years ago, in a hallway outside our lockers, I agreed to be your companion in romance. <laughs> Little did I know, that saying yes would take me on the greatest adventure of my life. I've had the privilege of growing alongside you and seeing you become the man you are today. And I'm so proud of the person that you've become. You've taught me what it means to love wholeheartedly and unconditionally. Today, I'm honored to promise myself to you as your wife. I promise to love you fiercely. 
and never let you forget just how much you are loved. It's hard to believe that today is actually here, knowing you two for so long. It was definitely something that there was never any doubt that the day would come. Uh, you two have one of the strongest relationships I've ever known, and it's with two of the most individually exceptional people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. I'm so glad that both of you have found each other. I couldn't imagine two people that deserve this more. So really, soak it all in, take all of it that you can, and uh, really, I'm very proud of you. Oh, I've never seen him cry before. <laughs> He's cried probably two times in his life. He said when his grandma passed away and when his dog passed away. So two times in his life he's ever cried. So don't expect him to cry. Hopefully she likes what she sees and she's uh, ready for a long-term commitment. Uh, I don't know, I just, I'm just excited to see her. I take you to be my husband. I promise to choose you every day, to laugh with you and cry with you, grow with you and create with you. To be your partner in all of life's adventures, loving what I know of you today and trusting what I don't yet know. I give you my hand, I give you my love, I give you myself. I love you, Curtis, today and always. I promise to share with you a life that is full of surprises and adventures. I promise that I will try every day to ensure we have the most amazing life together and to work hard to be the man I think you deserve. Uh, I vow to surprise you, honor you, laugh with you, and cherish you and our love until the end of my days. Curtis and Laura. Upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, I happily pronounce that you are a husband and wife. You may seal your commitment with a kiss. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce to you all for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lou. pleasure of watching Curtis and Laura grow up together and love each other. Curtis, you have become like a brother to me. You have stood up for me when I was too scared to for myself and have gone above and beyond for my sister. Watching the patience, care, and love you have for her makes us all super excited to welcome you to our family. I know you will always take care of her, will love her unconditionally, and protect her. So thank you for coming into Laura's life and showing her your love.
I'm really honored to be standing here tonight to share the love that we both have for Laura and Curtis. I've never been more delighted than I am right now. Curtis, you are taking your happiness to the next level with Mary and Laura. And Laura, you are filled with so much fun <laughs> and happiness and laughter and adventure. Who wouldn't want that? You're a great person, and I really, really proud to welcome you as my daughter. happy to have you as a son and as a husband to our daughter. You brought joy and happiness to her life. May you and Laura live happily ever after. Love you.